Hi, and welcome back to the channel. Today, well, today it's a beautiful day outside. It's uh, a little bit breezy, but it's a beautiful day nonetheless, and we're going to be able to get into the hives and check on the status of that bucket of sugar syrup that we put on all the hives on the front row last week. Now, if the girls have consumed that sugar syrup, we're gonna go ahead and remove the buckets, and then we'll get into a couple of the hives to make sure that they're not nectar bound, because I tell you what, I was driving down the road the other day and I'm starting to see the goldenrod start to pop out and these girls are coming back with pollen on their legs, so I think the fall flow is about to begin. So with all that said, let me get my smoker lit and my gear on and we'll get started. All right, let's have a look. How the girls coming in? Okay, it sounds to me like this, uh, like this bucket may be empty. And if it is, we're just going to go ahead and do a quick inspection. Oh yeah, it's empty. We're going to go ahead and get in here and see what it looks like. Make sure they're not sugar syrup bound. Hello ladies. Alright, I've already got some guards on me. Now this hive still has a medium super on it. And the reason being is that these girls actually had brood in a few of these frames. So let me get my frame holder. So the goal here is 100% just get ready for fall. That's it, get ready for fall. Because uh, winter's coming and these girls have to be ready, ready to go. Okay, well, I can tell you this, they are drawing out some new comb with all that sugar syrup I gave them. But the goal here is to see if these girls have hatched out that brood. If so, yeah, brand new comb. If so, I may, uh, may remove this box. Hello. Oh, that one's in there. That is a heavy frame. Solid nectar, that's what they're doing. They're storing their nectar here. Side as well. Okay. Hello, ladies. I see you've got some orange pollen on you there. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. Okay. Ouch. The red hive triggers this Just got lit up. Okay, getting lit up, getting lit up, getting lit up. Need some smoke. Ouch, stingometer just went off. All right, ladies. No need to do that. No need to do that. Don't get agitated. Things hurt. Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay. We have another frame. Top and bottom. Girls are bringing in pollen. Milk brood on the other side as well. A whole frame full of it. No, where the guards are looking at me. They're looking at me today. Hello. Okay, so we are drawing out comb on this frame. Finally, that is good. Not to just draw it out on the bottom. No, the queen is laying in here. There's the queen, right there. 
she is laying on this frame. The other side is being drawn out as well, but I'm going to go ahead and put this in the hive. And they're starting to fan loud. I'm going to get out. I see nectar on the next frame. There you go. I'm going to give you your medium super back. We'll just look at another, another hive. Man, it's getting windy. I can tell you this, this green hive, this green hive is very active, which tells me it's very packed with bees. And I notice it bearding every night, even when it's cool outside. So I don't know whether they're trying to evaporate the sugar syrup that I gave them, or if they're just overcrowded. It may just be overcrowded. Yeah, it sounds like they're done with that one too. Yeah, that's empty. Hello. Let's see if I can get in this hive without getting stung. There's the queen. Wow, she's not marked. Let's, uh, let's get the cage and mark her. Okay, there she is, right there. I see you, Your Highness. I see you. There you go, I see you. There we go, we'll let her sit there and dry. We'll just do a quick cursory look at the rest of these frames. All right, let me have a look-see. Let's have a look-see. If you're building out the comb, like you're supposed to, then I'll be out. Oh, just smashed a bee. Not a good plan. That bee just got the smasheroni. The green okay. hive triggers the stingometer. All right, it's glove time. They are not keen on me being in here today. Let me look. Let's see if you're building out comb. Okay, full frame of brood. More brood. I mean, it has not laid on this uh, on this frame yet. No eggs on it. Okay, full frame of brood. Full frame of brood. Okay, another full frame of brood. We're gonna go ahead and put this back together. These girls are getting are getting kind of crazy. And we do know from today they've already stung through my shirt and then stung me on the hand. They're in a stinging mood. Got some guards launching. There you go. Okay. Let's, uh, let's let our queen go. There she goes. Right, not too bad. Have a look here. Here we go. 
Okay, last time I was in here, she had some serious ants going on in this hive because they were coming up the wire in the back. Okay, that bucket's empty here. We can see that they tried to actually seal this up with wax. They tried to cap all the little screens, keep the ants out. Let's have a look at what they're doing on these drawn out combs. Let's have a gander. Oh, they are storing all of the sugar syrup that I've given them. Do not see a queen on there. On either side, but boy, they are. They are packing that sugar syrup in there. We do have brood on this next frame. So the queen, after I put her down on the bottom, she came back up, it looks like, or this is just not hatched yet. going on there. We do have brood happening right there. All right, all right, all right. Okay, the sage hive is a very strong hive, which tells me I, I can guarantee you that this bucket's empty. Whereas I'm sure, I don't know if Mike Berry says this, but a lot of the people in Louisiana, guaranteed. That's my Louisiana accent. How'd I do, Mike? How'd I do, Dirt Rooster? I do good, bad, ugly, probably ugly. You can do a Georgia accent if you want, but it won't quite capture me because I'm kind of a Georgia, Ohio hybrid. So I've got a, a good y'all every now and then. I can also fall back to a you guys or humans. I am still Yankified. I am a Yankee at heart. I used to live probably, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half, two hours from Frederick Dunn. Of course, I was in Ohio and he's in Pennsylvania, but I was in that area. That's why I always like to watch Frederick Dunn's videos in the winter because the snow up to here. It's beautiful. Reminds me of when I was a kid. Okay, ladies. So I can see that what I wanted last time when I put this, this bucket of syrup on this hive, what I wanted to happen was for them to start drawing out some comb, and they did. That's all new comb, that's all new comb, that's new comb on half the frame. So that is good. What I really wanted though was, was new comb down on the bottom in the bee barn. The problem is, oh goodness, they had brood up here, so I had to leave this medium on. Okay, no queen on here, very light frame. We are drawing out comb right here and filling it with sugar syrup. So this is a good sign. None of these, none of these frames are slap full of sugar syrup, which tells me that these girls took a lot of it down to the bottom. Okay, that one is full. See, I spoke too soon. And they're actually capping it. I'm going to have to do full inspections on these bee barns again to make sure that we are ready to go into, uh, into winter, but I will do this probably in, I don't know, three weeks, four weeks, we'll come out, we'll do a, a full inspection on each one of them and, uh, and make sure that they do have the resources they need down on the bottom. I don't suspect that the fall flow that's starting right now is going to last more than three weeks, maybe, maybe a month. And there's your lid. There's your brick. I'm feeling very good about this. All right, well, there you go, the end of another adventure. Now, we did manage to accomplish our goal today. We got through all the hives on the front row and we managed to remove all of the buckets of sugar syrup that the bees did consume 100%. And we did get down into a couple of hives to make sure that everything was okay there. Nobody's nectar bound, so it's all good. Um, we did manage to set the stingometer off twice, once for my hand and once for my arm. Now I'm looking like Popeye here. It's uh, 
it's a nice nice sore muscle but hey no pain no gain it is what it is anyways i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give me a thumbs up if you have something to say by all means please comment and if you haven't subscribed to the channel do me a favor take a moment hit the subscribe button ring the bell to be notified of my new content we try to drop a video every friday we try to keep it light and have fun so with all that said be happy and i will see you next week take care as the season draws to an end the green hive moves into the lead the season total stands at five.